Hi everyone, my name is Roshni and this is Betty Grew Up. This is basically a video on how to navigate habit trackers without getting um, too in your head about it or without letting it really affect your levels of anxiety. The first reason that productive, high-functioning people will love habit trackers is obviously because you get to check that box. Like, checking boxes, crossing things off lists, filling things in, like, when you know that you've, like, done something and you get to, like, cross it off or fill it in, like, that's just, like, the best feeling and it's honestly something that I genuinely look forward to every day. Obviously, that is first and foremost, like, why I love them, um, but the second thing is it's a really good way to, like, not have to remember those tiny little details of your everyday life and i am super into lists but when you have like a bunch of different lists of things to do and like you just kind of start to feel like unorganized and overwhelmed like it doesn't have to clutter your mind these tiny little details and that kind of gives you the space to like feel like there's just more room in there <laughs> more room to think about things that you actually want to think about rather than having to um, just spend all your time and energy like remembering things and wondering if there's something you're forgetting and all of that. The third reason why I love it, and this goes into like how I use um, habit trackers specifically, but it can expand your definition of productivity. Some of the categories on my habit tracker aren't specific items or aren't specific tasks, but instead I, you know, have a category called create and I have another category called um, insert. If Creating an oil pastel isn't necessarily going to change my life or isn't going to get me a new job or isn't going to earn me money because I'm just going to put it on my wall. It still doesn't mean that there's no point in doing it and it doesn't mean that practicing creativity doesn't have like really beneficial practices for myself. So um, I like to have things in there that are just self-activities and I can create another video on what self-activities really are, but basically they're just things that make you feel alive and make you feel like yourself. And when you're doing them, you don't have to think about why you're doing it. You just love it so much. Writing a list of them and making sure that you can at least see like when in your week or when in this month have you taken time out to do those things. And so those don't have to be everyday things that you check off your box, but it can be a better way of using time. Maybe you can look at your habit tracker and say like, let me look at my list of self-activities or things that I love. Like, what out of that can I do that will give my mind a break, that will like, help practice self-love? Um, so expanding your definition of productivity is definitely huge, and it's a great way to use habit trackers and really find a way for them to work for you. Filling in that box is a really great way to congratulate yourself and like help you see how you've spent your time over a day. But what's frustrating is that when you sometimes are just in a funk or sometimes you just need to like reset and nothing about staying in bed all day is going to be something that you really put on like a productivity habit tracker. Um, but sometimes it's just what you need. Like sometimes you just need that full 24 hours to yourself or you just need to kind of take a little time and reset and relax and that's completely fine like everyone needs R&R &R. but what the worst thing is is like coming back to work like super refreshed or you know returning to your normal routine the next day and looking and seeing like a row of empty boxes that are just staring at you and then like guilt tripping yourself on like why did I take that time why did I you know not do the things I normally do why did I take a break from my routine like Instead of just getting so down on yourself about all these different things, it's really great to just like color every box on that whole day like purple. And the reason I chose purple is because it reminded me of the story Harold and the Purple Crayon. So some of you may have heard of this. It's a children's book, um, but it's basically about like Harold is like this little boy and he takes his crayon and he can draw anything. Like he wanted to walk on a path and he didn't have a path so he like drew one. And so um, I kind of take that same idea to say like you can make these days anything you want to be and if you like just need a day off and you color every single box or just draw a purple line through that box, it's just a really great way to A, help you realize that you own that time. Like that was completely okay. You don't need to guilt yourself or feel like you did nothing that day because even if you might have taken that time to not do a lot, the amount that that's going to help you in your work later that week or later that month or the amount that that's going to give you like a refresh and a breath of fresh air to like put towards the rest of your work, like that's really important and so it, you shouldn't take that lightly. So just because one of your days looks different than the rest of your week or the rest of your month, 
isn't a reason to get down on yourself. So I really hope that this helped you kind of deal with the I'm not good enough or I need to be a perfectionist story in your own life and instead to come back to that and say you don't need to produce X, Y, and Z to be good enough. Like you are good enough every day. You are good enough just because you exist. But this is a really great way to help keep track of your external goals and to keep yourself um, motivated and just working towards something um, if that's what you desire. So if you like content like this and you want to see more videos like it, please like, comment, and subscribe because it really supports my channel. I really hope to hear from you and I can't wait to see you again next Wednesday. Bye!